you've probably seen it. Something on social media saying that in case of an emergency, you can use a can of Crisco or shortening as an emergency candle. Let's see how it works. I don't know who Lieutenant Ortega is, probably a made up name to make it sound more official, but let's see. I'm using the store brand and the regular size you would get at a grocery store. If you bought the Crisco brand, it would be the same size at the regular grocery store or you could get a larger tub at Costco or Sam's Club. I decided to go with this Tiki Torch replacement wick. It's stiffer, I could stick it right into the shortening. You could also use a lantern wick, a piece of string, or any other wick. Crisco or any other shortening is just seed oil or vegetable oil that has been through the process of hydrogenation and that allows it to stay solid at room temperature. So oils burn, so it makes sense that this will work. Now, oil lamps have been around for thousands of years. Also, hydrogenating oil was originally done so it could be used in place of tallow for making soap or candles, and then it was marketed for kitchen use. So I'll just want to trim the excess wick off the top there, and light it up. Now because I know this is going to turn into a very large candle and be potentially dangerous, I'll just stick it right in the can. It also will keep it protected from the wind a little bit. I think I'll put a wind guard over the top. Three hours later, it's going strong. You can see that a lot of soot has built up. Also, a lot of the shortening has melted, which makes it easier for it to be wicked towards the flame. Four hours, still going strong, same story. To make it burn cleaner, you would want to trim the wick, but I don't really care about that right now. At six and a half hours, it is definitely burning more. Now because of the nature of this wick, it's uh, thick and very sturdy, it's made of fiberglass, it lasts a long time and that creates a large flame. It would do the same thing with any fuel it was using. Good morning, it has been about 18 hours. This burned all night. You can see that it has completely melted the plastic lining of the shortening tub. Now this wick, because of its nature, is pretty much not destroyed at all. A normal candle wick uh, would be burned up a lot more than this is. I think we'll go ahead and call that a successful failure. At this point, I'm just going to shake it around and smother the wick in the melted plastic shortening mixture. I'm confident it would last several more hours, but we'll call it good here. You can see that this didn't burn very clean. Now this is what I call an arts and crafts project for preppers. It isn't a perfect solution, but understanding the concepts could help you out. You would want to put it in smaller containers, have a better burning wick, or maybe not do it at all. We know the concept works, which is great. But is it necessary? Eh, probably not probably makes a lot more sense to just store some candles or a lantern or some flashlights. But again, understanding the basics helps you adapt and improvise in a desperate situation. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please like the video. Feel free to subscribe and share with your friends. If you don't have any friends, share it with your mom. And remember, we are preparing for every day, not doomsday.